Hi folks, now I am starting off this PD as score M4 A3 E2 Sherman Jumbo. I will share the build up stages. Instruction sheet starts with the tracks, but I will not start with them. I will uh, start from the second stage drives sprocket and idle wire assembly. Okay, let's start. We will do two sets of drive sprockets. Okay, let's see how it goes. Uh, I like one thing very much. Uh, drive sprockets connection point is to the sprue is very well located. Connection plastic goes back of the front plate so you can easily clean it. This is a very small nice touch. First stage was for sprockets and idler wires and no problem at all. They are very crisp and clear. Clean and easy. Now we will do the differential cover assembly. Now working on the differential cover, as you can see, there is very good texture on all parts, cast texture, it's very good sign. Uh, spruce plastic is a little bit harder than the modern Tamiya kits. Tamiya extra thin cement works pretty fine on it. perfectly okay guys first stage of uh, the kit is finished and differential cover assembly is finished and I must say that it was not easy it has many parts side walls this part is this part and these hooks are a little bit tricky but uh, booklet is very well uh, it's prepared with two dimensional scale paintings and front views so it's very hard to make any mistake we will continue hi guys uh, I have done the suspension arm assembly. Uh, uh, there is nothing special uh, about that. Uh, but be careful about the uh, uh, well types. There are three types of wells. 
uh, it states that some vehicles uh, had mix of wells, but I have chosen to use the B27 coded well with uh, B cup type. Uh, uh, in this stage, uh, you only assemble the well with the parts uh, B3 and B4, B3 and B5 or B4 and B6. Uh, be careful there, uh, left and side, right side uh, hands are different. Apart from that, uh, you have to be careful at the stage of suspension assembly. I have done two of them for the one side. Uh, these are a little, a little bit complicated, a bit workable as you can see, workable legs and with some kind of suspension uh, a little bit. Uh, it's not very difficult but I will show you now. At the instruction uh, sheet uh, please combine the parts with the writings uh, and in the uh, parentheses writings. Do not combine them and uh, be careful about that. First you have to cut out the uh, form sheet into the parts uh, to 4.5 mm to 11 mm parts here like this you have to cut out 16 of these uh, this will act uh, over the suspension part as a suspension you will put 3 or 2 3 for uh, uh, 2 com combinations in one side and one uh, of them will have only two uh, forms. Okay then, I have prepared two of three combined parts so I will use two forms here. First you take the inner part and you combine you put these forms over the top they will act as suspension spring and you combine these B2 with B9 legs but be careful uh, about the placement. Hands will go outwards for both sides. If you do not care about that, wells will not move freely. Okay. Oops. You do not use any cement here you want to place okay <clears throat> now i am putting the And then I will try to okay. I didn't use any cement yet. Legs are in here, two parts are connected. Now we are.
connecting connecting the legs and their arms to main body. Okay, be very careful with the alignment of these legs connection ends. You can mix easily, but uh, when you before implementing any cement, try it and uh, see if it works or not. As you can see, there are serial numbers on the plastic here. Okay, now I will use some, some tin cement on connection joints. Okay, that's it. Suspension assembly is complete. The installation after the finishing, uh, sign the ones with uh, two foam rubbers. There should be four of them with three rubbers and two of them with two rubbers. Two rubbers suspensions will be at the uh, front. Okay, let's continue. Okay. We are at the stage of building the lower hull. Uh, sixth uh, stage uh, is about building the lower hull here. Uh, here you have to be careful about uh, installing the parts uh, in the sequence. Sequence numbers are here. Uh, let's start. I have prepared the parts, cut them out and cleaned from the sheet pretty fine detailed parts and they are very easy to clean sprue connections are thin and fine thin cement is very easy to work but for these long or big areas it needs multi-pass with the brush okay folks uh, lower hole first stage is finished it's composed of uh, one two three four five six seven eight parts uh, be careful about the sequence if you follow the sequence it falls in like a dream no problem at all let's continue uh, <clears throat> working on the lower rule, finished these either bases. Uh, this is made of three parts either mobile, either part, body, and the base. Um, they, want to, they wanted it to be movable, but I think it's just time consuming. It's not necessary and time consuming. Okay, let's move. Okay, we have completed the lower hood and there was no problem. Uh, uh, you, here you have to be careful about deflector parts. There should be no gaps between them. Uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Instruction sheet is fine. There's no any error or something like that. Okay, we will continue. Now we are starting the upper hole assembly. At first stage, 
we are adding some small bits and pieces and at the second stage we are adding uh, additional armor plates as in the real vehicle uh, as you may know Jumbo version was uh, the thickest uh, armored at this stage we will uh, marry the lower hull and the upper hull and differential cover hull top assembly is going on uh, I want to uh, urge you about the front plate uh, before gluing the front plate to the hull uh, you have to cut out all the pattern on the hull itself uh, if you don't do that well uh, front plate will not uh, sit on its place and before gluing the front plate uh, place the machine gun machine gun cover uh, into the places ok guys we have finished the stage 8 differential cover lower hole and the upper hole fits snugly uh, nearly perfect fit without any problems uh, needed very little cement uh, as you can see here Thing is perfect here here we will continue and finish the whole assembly now we are going to install an engine deck I have started with one part uh, and continuing installation Time finish is very good. Since the start of the lower hole, uh, small parts are very delicate and detailed. You can you see the parts? Fits the places. Easily. Placement for the tools are perfect. If you align well, they sit very well. Okay, let's continue. Engine deck installation is finished, except for the photo edge parts because uh, I am leaving them for the end because uh, I may crack them up while working on the uh, model uh, that happened before ok <clears throat> stage 13 is the installation of suspension set uh, we have prepared them at the first uh, stage as you may know uh, before this stage uh, I have installed the drive sprockets to be ready for the suspension uh, at this stage the instruction uh, sheet uh, says the installation of the track but I will uh, leave I will leave it to the end so uh, let's start for the installation of the suspension, working suspension. Now it's very joyful to place them, <laughs> but preparing them is not a very joyful task. Then the whole work is finished, uh, almost finished. There are bits and pieces. We will continue. Okay, guys, 
I have finished the bodywork and started for the third. Uh, finished the gun mantlet. I have used 76 mm Aber uh, M1A1 gun. Uh, it fits perfectly, as you can see. Uh, be careful about these liftings, lifting eyes. There are two positions. You may select select either of them. Uh, let's continue for the third details. Uh, I have glued upper and lower hole of the third. Uh, this is a cast third and uh, there should be no gaps between two parts or uh, there should be any weld line. There's a line if you can see. Now we I will work on the line. I will use uh, Vallejo's plastic putty for the first time. We will see how it will go. I am using the putty on the line between two parts. As you can see, you can do a very good weld lines after a little bit dry out you can give shape with a chopstick or something like that yes we have worked with the putty on the third we close this line between the upper and lower third parts uh, but as with the other plastic putties uh, Valeo's plastic putty uh, is again uh, not very useful for uh, making surface texture. I will work on it. But it's a very good putty uh, for very thin lines. Okay, we will continue. Okay, now I'm working on the third size for texture. These two sides, because of the mold, doesn't have texture like the front here. Um, I have used Tamiya Extra Thin Cement on these areas. I have applied and uh, it dried uh, now. And I am sanding it with 500, uh, 1500 sandpaper. For the smooth texture, I'm always using this paper. Checking the line with my fingers. Okay. One of the unique features of this kit, Asuka kits, is the uh, clear commander's cupola. I will use this one, clear one. Uh, I will mask the slots and paint the kit. Okay, guys, <coughs> third work is going very well. I'm using the clear paste cups here and here. As I have said, there is a clear sheet and colored plastic sheet for them. Hi guys, I have finished the third except the M2 machine gun assembly. Okay guys, third is finished. Now we are at the stage of 19. Uh, this is the machine gun assembly. Here you can see M2 machine gun assembly. Uh, this, is a separate, this is a separate task because I think this is a kit on its own. Look at this M2 machine gun body. You cannot see like this anywhere else. I think they are selling this as a separate kit too. At this stage I wanted to show you something. Uh, I have worked on the back sides of the turret again with Mr. Surfacer 500 uh, to give
gave some surface texture again and it worked out excellently. That is about to finish with small details here. Before the last stage, I want to show you the M2 machine gun assembly. Main body gun uh, is made of six sprue parts. This ammo box is made of three parts. Cradle is made of two parts. Uh, as I have said before, this is a kit by itself. Okay guys, we have finished the turret uh, with the M2 gun installation. Uh, now we will bring our vehicle together. Turret uh, installation has gone incredibly well. Uh, as you may remember, we have left the tracks to the end. These are T48 tracks with tuck wheels. Uh, extended tracks for the extra weight for the Jumbo. Uh, these are vinyl tracks, uh, very good detail and uh, softer than uh, latest uh, Tamiya vinyl tracks. Uh, let's continue to glue them. Okay, we have finished the kit practically. We will add some accessories and etc. Uh, it's not an easy kit, not a weekend kit. There are tremendous detail, bits and pieces, not like a Tamiya kit. Uh, but I think it's Asuka's one of the best showman kits out there. Uh, Jumba is a special vehicle and this kit is special too for me. I liked it very much. I hope you enjoyed this build up review as well. Uh, <clears throat> please be a member uh, at my channel Point Blank uh, for the next reviews. See you guys. Bye.